Oh yeah. Yeah. We're back for more Ocarina of Time or Acarina. 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 Back by popular demand. Just by my brother. He's he uh, actually commented on our Facebook page. He's like, dude, when are you doing more fucking Legend of Zelda? <laughs> Cause I'm like really buffed. Sounds like it, yeah. I don't even know what part we're on. It's been a couple weeks since we've uh, done a. If I recall, in the last couple episodes, we wasted a lot of time trying to um, get the hook shot. Yeah. And get to the forest temple. The forest temple. And now it is time. To go to the forest temple? To go to the forest temple! <laughs> Fucking <it. laughs> Fuck finally. Uh, oops. Guess I don't remember the song. Let's see here. That's okay. Um, lots happened within the, this episode and then the last episode. Alright. You only have 17 skull. Skulltellas? Skulltellas. Oh, well, yeah. Hmm. Don't give me shit about my skulltellas. That's fine. Kitty, get off I of the microphone. Left. Sorry, my cats like to. We actually just got back. We uh, ran into town. Yes. And um, when you're when you live in a small place like the UP, running into town is kind of a big deal. Like you might say, "Oh, we ran to the store." No, we we ran into town. Yeah. Which is about as exciting as it gets. Pretty much, but that's okay though. Yeah. So um, every Mondays. Usually on Mondays they have a uh, farmer's market, and we always go right by it, and we're like, oh, we should really go sometime, and finally we did, and yep. they had some pretty cool stuff, and I was kind of nervous, because I kind of get nervous when I'm around new people, but... Yeah. Whoa, you're up top now. Yeah. So, um... I can't remember if this is... I think it's on the left, actually. The, the key is in the next room. Next room. Okay, so, um, so I'm like, all right, well, if they got like apples or something, I'll go and buy some apples or something. You know, kind of support local, you know, farmers. Yeah, patronize local business. Yeah. So we had gotten there, and there was this jelly stand, and we actually bought some Mountain Dew jelly, and I yes. got to actually taste some of it, like on a spoon, like a, you know, those little spoons you get at like Baskin Robbins. Yep. And she says, here, why don't you try some? I'm like, oh my gosh, this tastes just like Mountain Dew. And I actually can't wait to try it on my toast tomorrow morning. Yeah. Yep, and we also bought some um, homemade honey. Actually, the, the woman who had the table had her own bees and made her own honey. And we bought cotton candy flavored honey, which oh, is just going to be obnoxious. Oh, 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 oh. And I'll, we bought... I'm going to get diabetes just from that. <laughs> we bought um, <gasps> lavender go. flavored honey. Yeah. Nope, let me down. There you go. Nope, nope. There you go. Okay, so the analog stick on this one is not good. It's stuck up. Curse you! Yeah, see, I'm not even touching the controller. Come on! Seriously? Yeah. Okay. Alright, we gotta change controllers here. Please hold for technical difficulties. Okay. Oh. Alright, alright, alright. There we go. Is that. Feel oh, come the. Right up, right up, right up. You, you gonna blame the controller again? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna blame everything else. So anyway, I went to the farmer's market and... Um, All right, we were talking about the honey. Yeah. We bought the cotton candy flavored honey. And we bought lavender flavored honey. That sounds gross. And it's probably more aromatic than anything else, like lavender tea and stuff. And Thank we you, Cat, for scratching. Max. Thank you. We bought... Stop it. Um, Get away. What else? Hazelnut. <laughs> And there was one more, I thought. I, I remember grabbing two cotton candy. Yep, and two hazelnut, one lavender, and one something else. Okay, steady now. I don't remember. can't remember. I actually yeah. had to lock the kittens out. Cause they scratch. I mean, as much as I love them, they scratch up my chair and... You saved yourself from having to come back to the outside of the dungeon when you realized you didn't have enough keys for everything. Yeah. Hell yeah. People that have uh, played this, like, every time I... I think the, the Forest <laughs> Temple is my least favorite temple. Because I always forget the very first one, the key that Bets just got. Mm-hmm. 
at the very beginning of the tunnel. Like, where the fuck? I went in every single room 16 times. It's like every fucking time. What do we got? Blue, purple, and green fire? <laughs> They're so evil. They are. They're so cool. Big pose. Big pose. Um. All right. So yeah, things are going good. Things are going good. Starting to get colder up in the UP now, so. Yeah, today was a nice day, and it was like 50-something. Yeah, 50 It was sunny, degrees. though. It was nice. It was chilly. People were walking around in, like, uh, in like coats and stuff, and um, I was just wearing, like, a, a thermal shirt and then a Star Wars t-shirt over that. That's total 90s fashion. Oh! Speaking of fucking 90s. Sorry, I just stopped myself, and I yeah, wanted to really actually... I'm fucking excited just now. <laughs> I hope I went the right way. Oh, yeah, we're okay. I don't know, dude. I actually post this on our Game & Wife uh, Facebook page. If you have not already liked that page, get your ass over there. Like it. That's right. You <laughs> we, should like everything we do. Well, I'm not saying everything. Everything. Well, maybe not everything, but I'm saying, like, go over to our Facebook page. We post, like, nerdy stuff, pictures. Lots of Nintendo and video game-related news. Yeah, um, be proud to be a nerd, so go on over there. Anyway, so I actually posted this a couple days ago, and they are, and I think we talked about how they're bringing back Surge, the soda, which my brother Nick, I guess, didn't know. He's like, oh my god, seriously? I was like, yeah. Um, I read from a former co-worker that they're bringing back my second favorite candy of all time. What is that? That is crispy M&M's. Crispy M and M's were the shit. Those are the those they are the were best. They were so M good. They're the best. It was like a Kit Kat and an M and M made love, and that was their baby. The little baby nuggets. That's right, little baby, little baby delish. They're the best. That's right. That's what they named it. Little M and M Krispies. Little baby delish. <laughs> So that apparently doesn't come out until January of 2015, unless this is an older video. Then send me send me some some M and M's, some crispy M and M's, which I probably already bought some. So when I found out this news, I was super excited, and I had asked a uh, fellow coworker, and she had said that yeah, I actually used to work over in the food area of our store, and. Apparently, they used to make pineapple-flavored M&Ms. Which, that's just crazy talk to me. I, I would freaking love that. Pineapple's my favorite fruit. All right, what am I missing here? What are we missing? What are we missing? Take this! Maybe this was supposed to go in? Never take it out. Always leave it in. That's right. Always. I think there was a stairwell, maybe. So... Or a ladder. That's my 90s. So 90s yeah. are, I guess, making a comeback. Hopefully, and hopefully my buddy Greg is watching. Um, Mom and Pop Co-op. He, They do their own Let's Play. So check them out, too. Um, and There it is. He's always like, oh, I want 3D Doritos. Because those were good, too. 3D Doritos were good, too. I actually, they were not my favorite version of the Dorito. But they're up there. Yeah, I just like to. You can't very well throw a regular tour or a, a regular Dorito in, up into your mouth. It just doesn't happen. Who was in the commercial for the 3D Doritos? Do you remember what commercial I'm talking about? Where it she was, pours them into the dryer. That that one? No, the one I'm talking about where she is throwing them up in the air like popcorn and catching them in her mouth. Oh, the only one I remember is the the where she actually pours them into the into a dryer, and then they shoot out. And then there's actually two celebrities that were in the video. And I can't remember, but I'll actually post what they are on screen, so. Isn't that ridiculous? And that's who that is? Yeah, wow. <laughs> Future me knows exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, so, but no, I don't remember uh, those at all. So 90s, I guess, is hopefully is making a fucking comeback, because I love the 90s. It was great. It was, it was a great time to be a kid. Mm-hmm. I think it was the last generation to actually learn patience. And I actually told that to a customer. She had uh, come in to buy paint or whatever, and I uh, was helping her out, and 
we got uh, talking about Star Wars, and I said, yeah, crispy M&Ms are coming back. And she's like, oh my gosh, I love Star Wars. And mm. Yeah, you guys might as well have been naked. Might as well. <laughs> might as well have been. But lately, it's just been crabby customer after crabby customer. But that one was good. I'm like, thank you, you just made my day. Because earlier this week, I had uh, this lady. Oh, son of a bitch. All this work, and I don't even have the right the key to get here. I opened the wrong You don't door. have a key? You don't have a key? I opened the... I think I went through the... I spent my first key on the key to get into this area, but I think it's too early for me to be in this area. Okay. Let me look around a little bit, though, first. Anyway, continue your story. Um, so this lady, she came in <clears throat> with her... I'm assuming her husband... And she says, uh, where do you keep, like, your, uh, your WD-40 stuff? And I said, oh, it's gonna be right over here. And I showed her where it was and everything. And she, uh, had said, um, well, I'm actually looking for something specific. I think you have to use your arrow. I don't have it yet. You don't have the bow? I just got into the temple, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just being a douche. You don't have this? Okay. You didn't magically start the game with every item you possibly needed? Uh, I oh. am like a true stem cell. I've been using that voice a lot lately. Anyway, thing. back That's to my conversation. Yeah, you talk. I'm going to concentrate here. So, and I won't keep saying, why aren't you doing this? So, this lady and her husband come into the store. Okay. Yeah. She uh, says, I'm looking for this WD-40 stuff. And where is it? I said, oh, it's right here. She says, well, I'm looking for something specific. It's called PB Blast. Peanut butter blast. Yeah, that was... Being a fat kid, that was my fucking she guess. She was looking for candy bars. She was looking for fucking peanut butter goodness, as you like. Yes, I do like. All right, and so she asked for peanut butter blast, <laughs> and you said you can't have my peanut butter blast. <laughs> I said, I don't know what PB blast is. My sweet peanut butter blast. In your mouth. So much mouth peanut butter. Right. So much nut in my mouth and butter. Right. So That's much right. nut butter. <laughs> <laughs> this is escalating quickly. Yeah, this, Back to your story. So <clears throat> I had said, I have no idea what that is. And she had said, are you serious? I said, well, well, yeah. And she had said, well, that's... I'm a woman and I know what that means. Or I know what that is. You know what? I don't know what that means. <clears throat> and then I said in this exact monotone, so that doesn't mean anything. And she was just... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if that was like really loud. I guess but... inherently male to know what peanut butter blast is. <laughs> well, it wasn't even peanut butter I blast. Know, it was, I know. It was some uh, WD-40 type stuff. I can't say PB without thinking about delicious peanut butter, though. My friend, um, who, I, who we actually stayed down state, stayed down state. That's tough to say. Yeah. Um, one of our friends got married uh, about a month or so ago. Um, we stayed with these friends of ours, and she sent me a picture of, um, you can buy a one pound Reese's peanut butter cup. That would be the death of me, but I would die so very happy. Don't get me, don't get me, don't get me, no! Ah! <laughs> Son of a bitch. I just like to... No! <laughs> I can't get him with my hook shot, though. I wonder if, like, if Link actually did fall and, like, got out of breath. Like, <laughs> you know how you get, like, the wind knocked out of you? Yeah. All of a sudden, Link just talks, like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, man, that was terrible. It was a hell of a fall. And, oh, my God, Link, you can talk? But I also read somewhere um, some actor wanted to do the voice of Link. I think it might have been Robin Williams wanted to do the voice of Link. The late Robin Williams. May he rest in peace. Mm -hmm. um, he wanted to do the voice of Link. And Shigeru Miyamoto, who created Legend of Zelda, obviously, um, he said, no, I don't ever want Link to talk. Mm -hmm. So he stuck with that formula, and he has yet to make a bad Zelda game. So That's true. We're going to stick with that fucking formula. Stick to the plan, man. Stick to the plan, Fran. Oh, it's a map. I'm not going to read it. There's this gal that I work with. Her her name is uh, Fran. And she works at, at the fabric counter. And paging her back to the, the counter so she can cut fabric is really tough to say. It's like, 
Fran from Frabricks? Because you want to say Frabricks. Everything else is an FR. Yep. Whoop. Fran from Fabric. Like, I have to really <clears throat> enunciate. It's like, oh, I need to get Fran from Frabricks. Fran from Fabric? Yep. Fur, 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 fur. Just page that. It's like, oh, some asshole's playing with a PA system again. Fran will probably know what you're talking about. She's like, oh, they want me. I'm Fran for Fran. I'm Fran. <laughs> Well, do you want to take the leap of faith next time? Yes, let's take this leap of faith next time. Thanks next for watching. Time. See you guys next time. Subscribe.